Hello there everybody, how's it going? I'm Void, I'm your duty Eagle Legends Comedy today, and today I am playing as Malak guy in the top lane as far as I'm aware. Alright, and he is he's mid. He insta-locked and then didn't say anything, so I wasn't sure. He against the Blanc, what can possibly go wrong? Regardless though, that's, you know, his problem. Hopefully he does decently okay, though I'm, you know, I won't, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit worried because that, for one, that skinny has is on sale and he's unranked, which isn't necessarily a good combination when you're against a little Blanc. And the fact that he's Master Yi. But, you know, it's just it's fine. Let's look at the teams here. We have Master Yi, mid, Maokai, Tub, Diana, Jungle, Sona, Support, Lucian, AD, Carry. They have LeBlanc, mid, Zach, Jungle, Vayne, AD, Carry, Irelia, Top, and Thresh, Support. I'll be honest, uh, worried about how this outcome of this game is going to go. Their team is very potent. And generally, when I see uh, Veins as of late, they've been doing really well. Veins definitely resurfaced in the meta extremely well. She's been seen a lot. She's been seen in LCS a lot, which probably has something to do with the fact that she's seen so much. So we'll see how it goes. But, you know, we're not sure. So we're just going to pound this thing into the ground. And, you know, that'll be nice. That's what I do with all my children. I pound them to the ground, and they come out of my arm and uh, proceed the rest of my other arm. This is why I'm never going to have children, guys, because, you know, this is, this is why. I'm j I would just be a monster, you know, I'd, police would hunt me for years, they would have torches and, you know, those old, old guns that you have to, like, spend a minute to reload, and it'd just be chaos. Absolute chaos. Yo, this guy is so ready. I'm still highly concerned of how he's going to perform against a La Blanc. Meditate's the only saving grace he has, because... You know, it would negate a lot of the bursts you would do. But I don't know if it would negate it enough per se, but that's fine. I realize a nice change of pace. I've been s I have been haven't really seen an Irelia in a while. It's been like Fioras and Fioras as of late, so you know it's nice to see someone you don't really see that often anymore. And, you know, I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm perfectly fine with being a frostbait Irelia. It makes me happy. So Nasty's being very adamant about the fact that LeBlanc is currently MIA. MIA, I repeat, a LeBlanc is missing as of right now. Yeah, we are being like super defensive. I'm gonna go and throw the first punch. I'll I'm done with this defensive shiz, uh, Irelia. You know, we gotta learn to attack each other sooner or later. She actually waited long enough to where she can get a fourth potion, so what the Alright, no animation on that auto, seems fine by me. So I'm pretty certain uh there's not a whole lot of point in, like trying to do much damage to her because of how much flippin' potions she hit she has. But you know, we can we can still try. I mean as long as I have a decent amount of mana, I don't feel too bad about it. Go and do some damage to her there, and what is your problem? Flippin' Irelia, though, is being the worst scumbag of all time. I mean, I might as well use my, you know, attacks on her if I can, because, of course, it'll allow me to gain procs for my passive, which is always a dandy thing indeed. She's already used two ticks of her Crystalline Flask. Not that that matters so much, and whoa! Hail and glory, there it is, the Master Yi dying at when the LeBlanc was level 2, ladies and gentlemen. The record that I was did not foresee. Okay, thankfully she couldn't get another auto off, though that was still quite annoying. The good news is, even though she has a lot of potions, you know, it's very easy to run out of mana as Irelia. So if she keeps, like, blowing all her spells super quickly on me like this, then I should be in an okay position, to be honest. This could be wrong. Obviously, Malachi is a very mana-hungry champion as well, so, you know, it's hard to really say how this will go, but, you know, we'll see. Also, not too happy about the fact that I got pushed under turret here, but... I'll try my best to get what I can, use my key to get both of these. I won't be able to get that last one, but that's good enough for me. And are you over here, Irelia? No, you are actually saying hello to Diana. Um, we should be able to get a kill here. I hope. Alright, Diana will get the kill, that's fine. There's no reason in her trying to let me get that, being how low she was. Huh. Well, I mean, that was an interesting. I'm, I'm guessing she was trying to check because Diana hadn't ganked yet. So she was, like, placing a ward or something of the sort. Not entirely certain. I'm also definitely going to have to go back here because my lack of mana is quite apparent. I did see the teleport on the turret, I'm pretty sure. I do still want to rush Rod of Ages because you really want some base AP as Malachi. So I'm pretty much going to try to do a little bit of a knock up there. And I don't think I'm going to have to flash. I knew she would do a lot of damage to me there, but thankfully I will be fine. I have another health potion to spare as well, so I'll go back not get my catalyst, which is really annoying, but it'll have to do. We'll just get our ruby crystal. 
And I'll get a Sapphire Crystal as well. I could really, I could definitely use the ability to, you know, use my potions more than Master Yiro. I'm actually getting a kill. But I did see LeBlanc on the way as well. So I'm, you, dude, leave. Please. LeBlanc was very obviously roaming and it's very easy for her to kill you. She is in six, so he shouldn't be able to, he shouldn't die. Yeah, there she is though. That's, I, 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 who knows if I didn't do those erratic pains, he might have not left. Because I know I, for one, I hate when people ping me like that, but, you know, I can't necessarily be that annoying because, to be fair, a lot of times, pain erratically like that is just necessary. But hey, you know, Massey redeeming himself with a kill, so that's always a good thing. And I don't know what the heck your problem is, Irelia. You're in my minion wave, so this is not really going to benefit for you. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Oh, I really was hoping I would land that. Would've, that would have been... A much better trade if I just land in that. That's concerning. But we'll survive. We see LeBlanc in the nearby area. This concerns me indeed. Did land that one. This is ideal because now we have our passive up. So we can do that. That'll be a good amount of our health back. And if I had Ignite, she would be she would be almost in kill range. Which is you know, definitely a good thing. That sapling should hit her. And if it won't hit her, it'll maybe cause her to miss a CS indirectly. No, it will not. I am the worst of all time. That's okay though. Yi, though, gained another kill. That time he did die, which is a shame, but of course, no, in time, there comes a time of life where sacrifices have to be made. Use our key once again, because it does a lot of damage. Also uses uh, you know, a lot of uh, health and whatnot, but that's okay. And what is your flipping problem, girl? What the heck is your problem? Oh my god. <laughs> Maokai, your slow, your slow, uh, your slow animations are gonna be the death of me buddy yeah she knows very well that if she gets in range for me to use my w she is probably dead problem is i don't know where zack is leblanc is also missing i'm pretty sure she just like died earlier though all right you know what all right okay well we don't know where zack is still this is concerning indeed um i should probably just play it safe at this point that's really annoying though that would have been a kill in like so many champions, but Maokai has just such a slow attack that it just didn't go off. Unless I cancelled it, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. I think that was just the that was just the way it worked. Which I'm not happy about, but you know, we'll make do. And I am gonna save my teleport this time because of the fact that there's not a whole lot to teleport here for. There is the Zack. And while he wasn't high on health, I probably would have still died if he landed an E on me simply because he has his passive. So that would not end well for me. And a good engagement by the bottom by the looks of it. Lucian barely not dying. And the Sona actually just duking it out with the vein. And almost getting a kill. But she will not be able to get the last auto up sadly. I've been there Sona. I know the pain you've been going through. And who is this man? <laughs> who is this man? This. This. I may, I'm guessing maybe he didn't just buy that skin because it's on sale. Goodness gracious. How is a Master Yi mid win against a LeBlanc? I don't understand. I mean, to be fair, he still died twice, but like any doubts I had in him have officially, you know, gone away. I'm still not fond of him as a person because of the fact that he just locked in instantly and then didn't say anything. If you're going to lock in, at least say, you know, where you're going. But, you know, I always die again, so now he's officially a scumbag in my scumbag book of scumbags. So there you go, uh, Master Yi. You are officially the worst, and you can report to the mess hall immediately to clean the lockers that are filled with pulled pork. Pulled pork is great, by the way. I actually have this place nearby me. Heck, you know what? Story time is okay when you're in the top lane just farming. I actually have this place nearby me, and uh, it's called the Roadkill Grill. And you might have heard of it. I'm pretty sure there's only only one in existence, but yo, know, it is. It's a pretty great food. Like, the, there's no atmosphere whatsoever. The heck are you doing? I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. You might understand. She'll die. Just let, just let her get the kill. I'm not gonna be one of those guys. You can get the kill. That's fine by me. <laughs> All right. That was a. Uh, I was just telling a story, and this I really just did not want to have any of it, and that was really rude of her. Oh yeah, it's like there's it's this beaten down like shack with like white benches. There's like a co occasional flies going around the place just chilling like, oh, I'm going to uh, like to serve you today. It's like, no, stop your fly. You don't serve food. And it's like, eh, that's what you think, buddy. And then they don't listen to me. And 
It's like there's no atmosphere whatsoever. You eat outside. The atmosphere is awful. But the food. The food of this place. I have never had pulled pork that amazing before. The ribs were mediocre. I mean, well, they were great. Never mind. They were great, but they weren't like the best ribs I ever had. But that pulled pork was just... It was just, it was like it was like you know kiss, kisses on uh winter evening, which I wouldn't know what that's like, but it's probably like that. It's probably that good. Assuming that's good in the first place, I would assume it is. You know, it seems to be the general consensus around here. Zack gank probably gonna result in a in a kill on the E. Well, he tried his best, but sadly his best was not available. It was was not enough to stop the the gank from the Zack. Okay, I just I just felt like that had to be said. It's, it was, the food was spectacular. Ooh, oh, I might die here. I'm, I'm gonna pop my ultimate because I don't want to take any chances. I'm gonna do a little bit of damage to her at the end there and then pop my ultimate. Alright, so she's quite adamant about going all in at this point, which is concerning. I do have my potions ticking along with my passive available, so that's, you know, at least that's good. Oh, she in turret range? She is. She will not be getting a kill, though. Because of my passive, I shouldn't be worried about dying in lane here. Though I'm definitely I'm definitely concerned. I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. The Zack is bot, though, so I shouldn't so I should be okay. He went Rod of Ages? I mean, it seems okay, but the lack of mana, you know? I don't know if I agree with that choice, Zack. Like, that's why he goes from, like, Rylize. Why would you not just go Rylize? In instead. The slow is really useful. Don't go Rylize just on Zack. Go Rylize. I mean, he might be doing okay. I'm not saying it's, like, god-awful. It still gives him health. It still gives him AP. You know, he's not, like, the worst builder of all time. I would just say Rylize is generally a better pick. Because, you know, I've gone 80 to Blanc in one. You know, I'm not saying... You can do pretty weird builds and have it work in normals. Oh, you don't have any mana left, do ya? But you still do damages. So, uh, never mind what I just said. Ooh, we have a Yi. We have a Yi, ladies and gentlemen. Um, probably gonna be a kill. Nice and easy. Very much, very, a lot of skill required there. And that will actually let me get my Rod of Ages, which is extremely useful. Don't know where Blanc is. So I'm... Ooh. <laughs> Thank God she checked the wrong bush. Alright, I'm happy about that. Um, I guess she's just gonna recall in that bush, it's fine by me. Um, I would like to help you, Diana, but I don't have a ward I can- Actually, I don't think I need to, per se. Zach Passive will be gained proc, but that will be the end of that. Ah, nothing's happening in this game. I had a chance to get one kill. Do I have any more stories? Uh, Zach just flashed. I ate Rubio's today, that's a pretty good restaurant, you know. I'm that guy who, there's, I'm not necessarily huge in terms of like diverse food cultures, like Mexican, Italian, whatnot, but there's there's always gonna be something from like each of the cultures I really like. Like for Mexican food, I love taquitos. Like don't put, I hate cheese on taquitos, but just plain taquitos without the cheese. And just the a good a good salsa. Jerry, the, sal the salsas they have there are perfectly uh, doable. Like, that's it's good stuff, man. It is good stuff. You know, I really don't like how, you know, much this, she just goes in and just doesn't flip and run up. I'm trying to tell stories and you just go all in and upsets me. Grant, I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to play Irelia. But it's still annoying. It's, it's just, it upsets me. Okay, well, she'll probably go in again here. I, whenever my Q's off cooldown, I definitely want to make sure I'm in a, you know, a safe position. But if I keep using my passive, I do seem to have more sustain than her. Pick, well, consider, consider my rod proc, that also helped. Alright, that's a, that's a problem. Will I live? I should live because she should be able to get another E on me. Alright, so that was the first time Zack ganked my lane, so I wasn't exactly expecting it. But the fact that he ganked there means, yep, there you are. You're just going to camp my lane. You think I'm going to let you do that? No, Mr. Eye Turtle, no camps for you. The flippin' ye though is out of control. This flippin' guy is just the mastermind of all that is holy. Okay. Uh, what's their team looking like? I guess I'll just go Ninja Tabai. It may be a bad call, but she's autoing me so much at this point that it'll negate a pretty good amount of damage, I feel. Even if a lot of it may be true damage and her spells do magic damage. 
at the end of the day I realize it's still an auto based champion and she's actually 0-3 as good as she's doing she's at when, 0 3 when she died three times wait she died at the beginning of the game she died that one time where she tried diving me oh yeah and then the E roamed ah gotcha I remember you thought I wouldn't remember ladies and gentlemen or you know one never mind just stop talking I'm just gonna stop stop talking no, I don't need to say different things because of factual precedence we're just gonna say what we want to say are you okay Diana I am unsure if this is the case um, Zach is uh, in a very interesting position well there's the Irelia <laughs> she had a very similar idea in, of roaming I should probably go after the Mr. Blob man which if I'm just gonna kind of stay over here all right he got the kill I'm pretty sure he was charging his E to try to escape, and I, I kind of wished he did escape, quote-unquote. But just so I can get the kill. <laughs> but that's not going to be happening. Guys, are you fighting? I think they're fighting. Did they realize I left? I am not sure. Or maybe they just thought uh, I really isn't that strong. And you know, I really is still quite the force to be reckoned with. I'm not going to lie to you. Also, Vayne and Irelia. Both suddenly disappeared, but I'm gonna keep staying here because I would really like to get this turret, which it looks like that is going to happen. So we'll just make sure we get the turret credit here, and that will be that. Giving some nice gold to our BNT mate, some bling bling ho ho. That's uh, it's not mean. I was gonna say that's a mean, but that would be lying. All right, well I wasn't expecting Thresh. I was not expecting Thresh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to though, but I'll try. I will try. No, yo, 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 you stop right now, mister. Can I get a kill here? Ugh, please. Ugh. You've got to be kidding me. They got so low. Oh, I'm so mad. Okay, Bammy Cinder. I'm not mad. I'm not upset at all. I could have maybe have gotten Thresh, but I'm pretty sure my key wasn't in range when he walked away. Oh, I should have just ran. I shouldn't have gotten greedy. I should have ran. What have I done? I've forsaken my people. I am forsaken. To quote, forsaken and Varus. Bah! Professionalism adds complete finest. Listen, Maokai may be a professional pick in the LCS play, which means when I do some bad stuff, I feel even more guilty. That's just the just that's just the gist of it, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm still gonna be strong. Heck, I think Thresh got the kill. No, no, I'm pretty sure. No, I'm pretty sure I really did. But I was trying to find some more some more justification to my bad play. I couldn't find any, but you know what? At least I tried. Um, will this be Diana's second death? It will probably be. Diana's second death, and will also be Yi's second. Oh, jeez! Why well, that's a lot of them. Help! 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 Oh my God! That stun cannon! That stun flipping cannon, ladies and gentlemen! Ah, ah, get the kill on the flipping! Ow! All right, Thresh got the kill. We're good. I just could not walk fast enough. I was too dang slow. Ah. I shouldn't have thrown a Q because that made the Irelia stun me, but even if she slowed me, I was probably still dead. This always happens when I play Maokai now. I'm not going to try another game after this because if I just, you know, this game's been pretty crazy. A lot of stuff's been happening, so it should be entertaining. But this always happens when I play Maokai top. I always don't do good in the early game. I'll sometimes be close to doing good. But then as we see here, I just end up dying either way. But then the late game, I'm always still useful. And that's one of the perks about Maokai is as long as you get into the late game and just get items, you will be useful. You will be a useful force in the team just because you're a point and click tanky stun man, which is all you generally need to be. Heck, I know a lot of Maokais who just don't go Rot of Ages simply because they just need to be tanky. They don't need to do any damage at all. But the Rot of Ages, just so you do some damage to your enemies... It's pretty nice. Not that you do no damage if you don't build damage, but you, you, get, you get the point. At least I hope you uh, get the point. I'd like to tell you why you used Alpha Strike there. I really would, but I don't really have an answer for you. Also, there's an Irelia nearby. 
Diana should be in an okay position here. You wanna, you wanna go in here? You wanna go in here, buddy? I don't like to show you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The kill steal of the century. Hold your paddles. What up? That is what I call a kill stealing. I'm not trying to be offensive, by the way. I'm simply being an idiot. I was gonna find a more friendly term, but then I realized I was referring to myself, so I didn't need to get a more friendly term. I mean, friendly terms in the house of Vivid Void. Where are you? Where are you? Where do you live? And suddenly, we are on a killing spree. How'd that happen? I don't know. Dang it. I want to get my W off and just get a fourth kill in a row. That would have been pretty great. Well, my score looks fine now. I'm pretty happy about that. Diana! It's not Diana, it's the Blanc team. Okay. She honestly probably could have kept going there and might have been able to get a kill. Thankfully, uh, she didn't. So we're good. We're all good. Sunfire Cape will be ours. I didn't actually explain why I'm going Sunfire Cape. I just like it. I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot. I don't know how much if there's a lot of justification for it. I know a lot of people might just say I should just go the the brain ban the brain be cinder, but nah. Uh, next we'll go for visage. Ah, mm, eh, what the heck? I know frozen hearts really tempting because of how much AD they have, but I would like to. The visage just uh, I would like it. I would like them visage. That's about it. Good night. I, will, I could also go like Abyssal Scepter and just start building AP now because I probably can afford to. Look at the... I never know what to... It's always interesting when people are like this, he exist. Nine kills. Eight deaths. So he's almost half of their kills, but he's over half our kills. Or was it almost half half our deaths? You know, you know what I mean. I don't know why it's so hard for me to make my brain work and think about the proper way to speak. But, uh, as we all know, speaking is a very difficult thing. English is not my first language. I lied, it is. It's my only language. I speak a tiny, 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 tiny bit of Spanish. And a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of German. But when I say tiny, I mean, like, practically none. Like, I don't know, uh, uh, gr you know, gr grande olas. Grande olas, that's, uh, something in, uh, Spanish. I can, I'll say it in a very... Ah, oh, Jag! Get this blob out of my face! Oh, you're not. Uh, there's the reinforcements. You know what? Let's just flash early. <laughs> we don't need to take the chances of us getting caught. Let's just flash. Not for granny thing. Grande Olas. There's Grande Olas in this river. No, there isn't. And I actually forgot the one German phrase I was going to say, so I look like a complete, complete liar now. So I apologize if I have misinformed you about my German speaking abilities, but I did say very, very little and practically now, which is pretty much the same thing. Pretty much. Master Yeet, are you okay? You used the Bork active, but you didn't continue your escapades. Wait! Mm -hmm. I didn't get the kill! It's fine. Mr. Point and Click Stun is here to save the day. What the heck do you want, LeBlanc? Do you want to fight me? Is that what you want? Do you think that was a good idea, Ravenborn LeBlanc? Because the answer is no. I'm going to stomp you. The corpse isn't even here anymore. There we go. What the? Get over here. Get over here. Damn it. This is my good start. It went off. We had a chance here. I had a chance to kill that threat. She was jealous for reasons. But I mean, I understand you run out of mana pretty quickly on Thresh, but I don't think Chalice is a very good decision. That's just me, though. Maybe it is a good decision. I haven't played Thresh in a while. I, it's, it's almost a joke. We'll see. And see. And see the powers. I know there's a vein there, but I want to get a kill here. Never mention I hate everything, because I kind of do right now. Yeah, yeah, how's it feel? How does it feel to be bad at video games? Eh. Okay, another Blanc's like on the way. So I'm a bit worried, but I should be fine. There's the little Blanc. There's the kill, and that will be that. <laughs> I saw that coming a mile. Oh, I maybe should have stayed, but I also might have died. So let's just take this as a victory. And this is your average Malachi score right here. You know, your your score is, this is the kind of, usually the, this is usually the best outcome for a Malachi top. Because, you know, you don't really have a whole lot of kill potential because once you use your abilities, it's like, well, what are you going to do? But hey, it's, you know, it's bet what the heck are Lucian's 8-0-8? Oh, huh. 
Good for him. Good for him. I thought Yi was the one. Yi and Diana were like doing a bunch of stuff, but I didn't even realize Mushin's score. Good on you. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Vi uh, not Vivid Void. He sucks. John De. John De456. We'll go and say that. This is the bad voice commentary. The commentary of bad voices if you want to be grammatically correct. Ah. Oh, hello. Hello, Smile is epic. I don't think Smile's a very epic per se. I mean, Smiles are nice. You should always try to smile whenever possible, but I still don't know if epic's the right word. Do you really want to flip and have some? I made a mistake. I made a mistake, team. 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 I made a mistake. I made a mistake! Oh! Eh. <laughs> I love how obvious of the bad idea that was to go in on the vein, and yeah, I just did it anyway. But if he, if he just goes in like now, he waited very late for some reason. If he did it earlier, probably would have gone a lot better. But we're well, still gonna, gonna get a kill on the Zack. If we get another kill, I'll be pretty happy. Nope. I'm not happy. I'm angry and I'm upset. But yeah, that was a... I miss, that's just plain and simple. That was very, very stupid to go in on the... On the, well, the vein there. That will be the first to admit that. If he landed a crit on the vein there, he might have gotten a kill, but he's just taking the safe approach to live, which is probably the best course of action, I'm gonna be honest. But that's fine. Oh, you know, we have a lantern. We're, we might as well be that one guy with that from that one movie with the lantern. And we'll make good things happen in this world. Dragons up in 20 seconds is a good objective we should probably secure. We've gotten both the dragons thus far. I do notice that happens every once in a while. My voice just kind of runs amok, and I just like speak at 17,000 syllables per syllable, so little, 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 little poles per second, and I just like I just run and run in my mouth. I've been told by my teachers in the past, it's like Curtis, you you talk really fast, which is weird because I used to be extremely shy when I was younger, and at some point in high school, I just stop being shy i still don't like talking to like adults i don't know i still but aside from that i was gonna say still but then i realized i was also false i was gonna say i also don't like presenting and i don't like presenting but I, i'm not really shy on presenting more you kind of just wing it and don't be professional while presenting and you'll be fine because the students don't want to see the rest of the students in class they don't want to see you go up there like uh um hello i'm here to do a report on giraffes and you know no one wants to just watch you just sit up there shyly it's like it's kind of awkward to watch someone like that because they're obviously uncomfortable but and obviously i can't say like hey just don't be uncomfortable because that's impossible generally you don't even think about it buddy Oh, Zack is like killing this guy. Um, he's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna okay, I'm happy that I got that kill. Anyways, yeah, I used to be really shy. It used to be very, very hard for me to present. There was even one project in fifth grade. No, it wasn't fifth. It was seventh grade, I think. I don't remember. Somewhere in middle school, where there was actually an option not to present. You'd lose ten points. But you didn't have to present, and I actually chose that. I was one of the two people in the class who was like, I'm just not going to present. I got an A anyway. I got I just got a 90 instead of 100. Because that was, like, pretty much every project, because I found school projects to be very easy. But you know what? There you go. You learned something about me today. That I hate presenting, and then, you know what? I just... some point in high school, I, was, I just got out of it, and... While I'm still introverted, I'm not extroverted by any means, I still, you know... I'm not a huge fan of talking to people I don't know. I still will. I'll still put on uh, my random silly nature, which is part of the, partly negative because then people will think I'm weird and never talk to me again. But to be fair, why would I want to be friends with someone who wouldn't like my you know norm normal self? My normal self would just be a, a maniac. I'm just gonna like sit here. No, I just want I just want to talk to you. There we go. Yeah, this is good. Is good. I hope I don't like that they won't try to kill me or anything, because that would make me a little bit sad. Oh, they have I fit the the vein doesn't seem as adamant about being a friendly individual. Oh, and you're you've turned on us! You've turned on us, Irelia! How dare you turn? How dare you turn? Try, <laughs> try. He almost succeeded. He didn't succeed, but he almost did. I would gonna, gonna end the game and do a slash dance. And that will be that. 
This has been uh, Malachi Top, aka Ram Stories. I would tell more, but you know, you can always say so many stupid things in a gosh dang game of League of Legends playing Mountain Malachi in the top lane before the game just ends. And that's the way of life. Make sure to eat your spaghetti. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment if you have anything fantastic to say. I'll be sure to be and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, what's a motivational message I could say? Uh, uh, try to always smile. Try to always look at the positive side. You know, there's a lot of people who will like put sad faces on, uh, you know, Twitter or whatever. And, you know, to all of you peoples, if you're having a bad day, you know, just try to look at the positive side. Try to look at, you know, the good things you have in life and... You know, I have done that. I've had problems looking at the positive things in life myself, but you know what? You know, you gotta know that you just, you, you know, you don't have it all that bad. You'll, you'll be, you'll make it. You'll make it. Be happy. You'll be alright. That's, that was very preachy, but I'm okay with it.